finishing the race. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. In this final chapter, Paul is approaching the end of his life and ministry, and he shares words of wisdom and encouragement to Timothy who is tasked with continuing the work. This chapter offers valuable insights for us today as we seek to live out our faith and fulfill our calling. First, preach the word. Paul's charge to Timothy is clear. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. As believers, we are called to faithfully proclaim God's word and share the message of Jesus Christ with others. This verse reminds us that our commitment to the truth should remain unwavering regardless of circumstances. Second, keep the faith. In verse 7, Paul reflects on his own journey and writes, I have fought a good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Paul's words remind us of the importance of persevering in our faith. Life is often filled with challenges and obstacles, but through faith in Christ, we can endure and finish the race well. Third, the crown of righteousness. Paul speaks of a crown of righteousness that awaits him, not only for himself, but also for all who have longed for Christ's return. This verse encourages us to live with an eternal perspective, striving for righteousness and eagerly anticipating the return of our Lord. And fourth, continue in the scriptures. Paul's request for the books, especially the parchments, highlights the importance of continuing to study and immerse ourselves in God's Word. The Bible is our source of wisdom, guidance, and spiritual nourishment, and we should make it a priority in our lives. So in conclusion, 2 Timothy chapter 4 is a powerful reminder of the importance of remaining faithful to our calling, persisting in our faith, and keeping God's word at the center of our lives. As we reflect on this passage, may it inspire us to run the race set before us with endurance, holding fast to the promises of God, and looking forward to the ultimate reward of eternal life in Christ. Now in our application number one, consistent study of God's word. Dedicate time each day or week to study the Bible. You can start with a specific plan, reading a chapter or a few verses, and reflecting on their meaning. You might want to use devotionals, study guides, or join in a Bible study group. The key is consistency. By immersing yourself in scripture, you'll deepen your understanding of God's message and how it applies to your life. And number two, perseverance in faith and service. When facing challenges and difficult circumstances, remind yourself of Paul's words in 2 Timothy 4.7. Consider maintaining a journal to track your spiritual journey, recording your struggles and victories. Surround yourself with a community of faith for support and encouragement. In your daily life, strive to be faithful in your service to God and others, understanding that every effort contributes to finishing the race well. These practical applications can help you integrate the teachings of 2 Timothy 4 into your daily life, fostering a deeper connection with your faith and a commitment to sharing it with others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude for the words of 2 Timothy 4 7. Help us to be like the Apostle Paul, to fight the good fight, finish the race, and remain faithful in our walk with you. Grant us the strength to endure life's challenges, knowing that our ultimate reward is in you. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen.